Now, Heartland Sports with Luke Randall. We are less than 24 hours till the kickoff of Super Bowl 58, which you can watch here on KFVS. But for now, let's head to the Show Me Center for some college hoops. The Red Hawks on a five game skid, but they lead in the second half against Tennessee State. Here come the Tigers, however. Jordan Aikens with the three to put Tennessee State ahead. But India Bowen, she would respond, have a great game herself. And of course, Alicia Doyle, 31 the other night, and a jumper right there. Really great game for her. Fans are stoked for Simo really going at the Tennessee State players. And the players getting hyped down the stretch because it's a close one. It would come down to free throws. India Bowen would make her pair, and then Jalea Green would make hers. The Red Hawks getting a big win. Head coach Rika Patterson on the importance of today's victory. Getting the win again helps us um, compete to finish in the top eight. A lot of games left, a lot of movements going to happen left. So um, hopefully this can catapult us to continue to play our best basketball and work to play our best. Now one more thing to note, it was Coach Rika Patterson's birthday today. The dub definitely a good present to have in the men's game. Tennessee State, take a look at that. They'd come out hot, but so would the Red Hawks. A three right there from Adam Larson. You can see the student section really going for it. Fans excited, but brilliant shooting from the Tennessee State Tigers. These are contested threes, very difficult to make. Simo would rally back, but they would end up falling just short. And Tennessee State would take the win. Now to high school hoops. Chaffee and Meadow Heights faced off today but not in the heartland over near Indianapolis in the Hoosier gym. The teams facing off where the Hickory Huskers played their games in the 1986 hit movie Hoosiers. Chaffee worked on organizing this game for the past year. Fans and athletes got to experience a very cool atmosphere. By the way, Chaffee's boys and girls varsity teams would end up both taking victories on the day.